Welcome to ECU Masters Training Part 37. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our stage injection feature. Stage injection is going to allow us to control a second set of injectors. So if our primary set of injectors aren't delivering enough fuel, we have to bring in a second set to have adequate fuel flow rate to increase the power delivery for our engine. So if we're working with something like a methanol or ethanol based fuel, we're definitely going to find that one set of, let's say 2200 cc injectors is only going to get you so far. 7, 800 horsepower is going to be usually the limit. And then we're going to need to add on the second set. So we're able to control that secondary set and bring them in as we'd like based on engine RPM and manifold pressure. It's actually really, really simple. So let's jump into this video so we can check out how to work with stage injection. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with our stage injection feature in our EMU Black Tuning software. Now, before we jump into our training tutorial, make sure you have your advanced tuning page layout open so you can follow along with what I have on screen here in the video. We're able to find that under desktops, open desktops template, then here under advanced tuning. So I'm going to click cancel right now, and I'm going to move from my setup page here and then to our S dot injector or short for stage injector. Now within this page here, we find all of the programming details to make our stage injection work. It's actually very, very simple to set up and configure a second set of injectors as we're gonna be finding here in our tutorial. So let's talk about what the stage injection is going to represent and why we might wanna use it on our vehicle. So stage injection is gonna be when we add a second set of injectors, if we cannot provide enough fuel flow rate through the primary set of injectors. So the primary set is gonna be what we uh, start our engine on, idle, cruise, even under full throttle, it's going to be where we deliver the primary amount of fuel. The secondary set of injectors is going to be able to stage and essentially come in with higher load, higher throttle, so that we're going to be bringing the additional fuel flow rate that we need that we can't deliver through our primary set of injectors. This is most commonly used on a high horsepower turbocharged engine that's going to be on an alcohol-based fuel. If we have something like a 2000 cc injector on our primary set of injectors, we're going to be limited to how much fuel we can actually inject into the engine. Even if our fuel pump or combination of fuel pumps can go and deliver something like 800 liters per hour of fuel, we're going to find that the actual injectors are going to be the limiting factor. The only way to get more fuel into the engine to make more horsepower is going to be going and adding a second set of injectors or a larger set of injectors. But if you're running something like a 2200 or 2600 cc per minute injector, you're not going to get much larger of an injector to be able to use. So it's going to offer us the advantage of being able to get the fuel delivery properly into the engine and not having to run our base fuel pressures extremely high to try to get a little bit more fuel flow rate out of our primary injectors. Now the other aspect of this, the other way we can use our stage injection is if we have a 2000 cc injector on our primary and we have a car that's going to be driven not on the racetrack, but it's going to be driven on the road. Now in this situation, we want to have good drivability. We want our idle to be smooth. We want our part throttle drivability to be smooth. And when we're running a really big fuel injector, like a 2000 cc injector, that's going to be a bit difficult to control, especially on a petrol based fuel. So if you're on 91 or 93 octane fuel, it's going to be not the easiest to get things dialed in because it's going to have unlinear operation because we have to run the injector pulse width at such a low pulse width that it's going to be, again, difficult to control. It's going to be in a nonlinear operation zone. So in this situation, we're able to run a smaller primary set of injectors, something like a two, three, 400 cc per minute injector that's extremely easy to control, having good idle quality and good uh, cruising quality as far as our air fuel tolerance goes. We can run it at a linear air fuel. It's not going to be operating in an unlinear operation zone. In this situation, then we could use a secondary set of injectors to bring the additional fuel flow rate in when we get into boost. This will give you the best of both worlds. So we're able to accomplish either situation with the stage injection, and you have to really think if it's going to be something that you need for your application. If you can deliver all the fuel to the primary set of injectors and the car idles and cruises smooth, then just run a single set of primary injectors. But if you need the fuel flow, you need to get the- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.